PSG just posted another roadmap over on their Twitter and I just kind of want to get this out there in case you guys aren't on Twitter or maybe you didn't see it or whatever. So basically we have a roadmap from now until the end of 2024. So everything you see on here, whether it's arena or the base game is going to happen before the end of this year. So there's a lot of good stuff on here. We're going to quickly go through it. Obviously, I'm sure most of you guys know how to read and can just look at the screen and, you know, figure out what's going on. But there's a couple things that I want to talk about here that i think are really really cool so first up is going to be arena we're going to be getting a new location and this is the location that nikita tweeted about i want to say like a week ago or so and that's going to be this right here no idea what it's called no idea what it looks like other than this but there it is next is going to be a new game mode again no idea what it's going to be maybe somebody knows but i personally do not and then just some other things technical improvements gameplay adjustments quality of life a new grenade and then next is going to be synchronization of eft patch 15 and eft arena a lot of people are confused about about this but all this means is the features that got added into patch 15 of the base game are going to be synced up to arena so things like weapon mounting maybe some of the new gear and stuff like that because a lot of that stuff is not in arena currently the next big update for the base game is going to be unity 2022 now i don't think this is going to be as big of a deal as people think it's going to be but i would expect a lot of bugs to come along with this so we'll just have to wait and see i don't think the game's going to look super different i don't think the game's going to perform that much different so i wouldn't get you know super excited about this it's kind of like the last Last time we got a unity update basically nothing changed now the next big update for the base game actually looks pretty cool and the thing that excites me the most is this first one right here stash and hideout interaction while matching a lot of people have been asking about this for a long time so basically while you're sitting in that queue waiting to get into a game you can move stuff around in your stash organize it or you can mess around with your hideout rotate your crafts so for everybody saying that the hideout is a waste of time now you have an opportunity to actually uh, mess around with it while you're waiting to get into a raid and it will not be a waste of time because you'll be doing it while you're queuing which inherently is a waste of time i don't know what i'm trying to say anyways i think that's super cool i think that's a great change because the amount of time you spend matchmaking is absolutely ridiculous so at least now we'll have something to do next is ability to lock items and stash this is going to be really cool basically all of your cases let's say you want to just lock them in place you can do that now and i think this is going to be great for people who accidentally delete stuff sometimes i'm guilty of it myself i've never deleted anything super important but i have accidentally deleted stuff so that'll be cool expansion to new mechanics added in point 15 so i guess they're gonna expand a little bit on certain things like mounting bipods things like that some technical improvements sound engine improvements i can't wait to see what that's gonna be because sound has just been a downhill battle for the last few years so hopefully we're gonna take a step in the right direction fall weather season i'm excited about this i'd love to see you know maybe some uh, orangish yellow type leaves on the ground maybe some leaves flying around in the air because they're falling off the trees that would be super sick ai behavior adjustments this would also be nice because i'm so sick of fighting scab armies on every map the other day i played interchange and i killed 42 scabs in one raid so hopefully they uh they fix that game client performance optimization weapon content not sure what they mean by that and then in game events that'll be cool and then next we're gonna get a couple of arena patches quality of life improvements rank calibration system technical improvements a molotov cocktail that sounds pretty fun big one here is going to be battle pass system now i don't know what that means i don't know if that's just gonna be like skins and stuff like that but I think it's a good change. Maybe it's going to bring more people over to Arena depending on how they do it. I think Arena is amazing right now and I think it's going in the right direction. I still would prefer to play the base game personally, but Arena is definitely on the right track and I'm excited to see them putting so much effort into it. Basically, the game kind of flopped when they first brought it to us and they've been working hard to get it up and running and making it an actual game that people want to play. So that's pretty cool rank season system that's also pretty cool quality of life improvements and another new location i don't think we know anything about this one yet and then finally is gonna be patch 16 this right here i'm gonna go ahead and say this is the next wipe that they're gonna be doing in december now that is just my personal opinion and that is me just you know pulling that out of thin air i highly doubt bsg would miss a december wipe they haven't for the past few years it's one of the best times that they could possibly wipe the game because a lot of people are on vacation or maybe they're out of school it's just a good time for a lot of people to play the game and a december wipe just 
it always makes sense so this i'm gonna go ahead and say is gonna be a wipe mark your calendars sometime in december i would imagine around christmas i think last year it wiped on the 27th so calling it now this is gonna be a wipe and it's gonna include new high-end content don't know what that means quality of life improvements technical improvements new weapons sound engine improvements again y'all just go ahead and start saying a prayer i really hope they do some good here game client performance optimization expansions to interactive location mechanics and winter weather season so maybe we'll get some snow again super excited about that i really really love the snow so basically it's gonna be a wipe but it doesn't look like it's gonna be you know super full of content or super crazy i don't know maybe it will be maybe this is just kind of like a broad here's kind of the big things that we're doing and maybe we'll add a bunch of new stuff with it but anyways that is going to do it for this video this is the roadmap for the rest of 2024 i really love it when they do this kind of stuff because it gives us an idea of what we can expect in the very near future they did it last year or earlier this year i can't remember and i mean they followed it to a t it was perfect so really appreciate this from them anyways that's going to do it for this video let me know what you guys think about this roadmap and what you're most excited for but other than that i'll see you in the next video